Hey guys, Greg Chen, Pro Audio Specialist for Avid here at NAB 2018 in Las Vegas. We are in the South Hall. Right when you come in the entrance, you can't miss us. And uh, I'm actually manning uh, the Pro Tools and Sibelius area with my buddy Dan. We're having a great time. We're talking to a lot of great customers. Hopefully you can come by and check us out. Uh, obviously there's a lot of great stuff to uh, talk about. We're talking about the rebranding of our software products. Uh, so specifically as it pertains to Pro Tools and Media Composer and uh, Sibelius. So now we've got those three tiers that are consistent across the board. So of course as it pertains to Pro Tools, we've got Pro Tools First, a great free way to get into Pro Tools, great way to start if you're brand new to it. Then of course we've got Pro Tools and then Pro Tools Ultimate, which is the entire kit and caboodle. We've actually added some really great things to Pro Tools Ultimate as well, including machine control uh, and a really great uh, uh, robust set of plugins. So. You know, along with that, we're, we're showing off awesome, you know, some of the awesome and great features we've been uh, you know, putting into Pro Tools over the last few months, and that's what we're kind of demoing here. So I wanted to show you some of those right now. Uh, I've actually got a session that I'm kind of working on, and I've got a, an instrument track here with a virtual instrument. I've got my uh, M-Audio MIDI controller uh, featuring a really cool synth by our, our friends at UHE, a uh, synth called Ace. And I want to try and uh, work out you know, some ideas. I don't have anything on this track yet, so I don't have anything record enabled in Pro Tools, but I just want to try some ideas out. So let's just go ahead and uh, play back, and let's see what I can come up with. I'm not going to record anything, just try some stuff out. OK, let's try the G. Uh, Okay, so yeah, that, there was some stuff there in the middle there that I actually really liked, but as I said, I wasn't actually recording anything. Well, the great thing now in Pro Tools is that regardless of me you know, not recording anything, Pro Tools is always buffering and always remembering what I've done uh, via my MIDI controller. So even though I wasn't recording that, Pro Tools actually captured that performance. So I can simply bring it up now with just a shortcut, but since I'm actually one-handed here, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use the menu here, go up into uh, Event, and retrospective MIDI record. So now, I went ahead and just by clicking retrospective record, I brought back uh, that, uh, that uh, performance that I actually just did and I didn't record it. So if I go ahead and just click here in the middle. All right, so there's the mistake I made. So it actually recorded that and now I have that performance ready to go uh, at my fingertips. Really great feature. So continuing in that, uh, with our MIDI features, we've done some really great MIDI enhancements. Uh, that we've added and we're going to continue to add some more. If I double click in here and actually go into my MIDI editor, if I go ahead and select a group of notes here, uh, I can actually now control those notes very easily by just using a couple of shortcuts. So for instance, um, if I wanted to go ahead and transpose these notes uh, that I've selected, I now just go ahead and use the arrow keys up and down on my keyboard to transpose up a step each time I hit the arrow, uh, arrow up button or to transpose a step down every time I hit the arrow down button. If I wanted to do that by octave, very simple. I just hit the shift key and the arrow up or arrow down button. So then I'll transpose by octave. Very, very simple. Additionally, if I wanted to change the uh, uh, velocity of all of those uh, selected notes, I just go ahead and use my command key uh, as the, uh, the uh, secondary key and then my arrow keys up and down to change those. All right, so right now, I'm kind of just turning down the velocity all the way, and then command up to go ahead and change the velocity all the way up. All right, so what else do we have? Oh, so uh, again, staying in the, uh, in the idea of what we've been doing with the MIDI enhancements, if I use my tab key, um, that'll now tab to the, to the next note, right? So it makes it very simple. Now, of course, uh, if I want to hear the notes, I can actually use my uh, arrow keys left and right to go from one note to the next in succession, you know, either before or after. Makes it very simple. If I want to select a group of notes, I just hit the shift key and the arrow right key, and I'll be able to select that group of notes. Really, really easy, very simple, but the collected uh, uh, you know, idea of all of those becomes a really powerful set of tools. There's so much more to see. Make sure you come by the booth and check us out.